Thanksgiving is a little more than two weeks away and many families are worried they will once again have to pay extra for some of their favorite meals. But this year, some Turkey Day staples will actually cost less. CNN's Karen Kafa explains which items you can expect to save on. Some Thanksgiving favorites are up, others are down, according to Wells Fargo. And a survey by turkey producer Butterball found that nearly every consumer expects to feel the pinch of inflation as they plan their Thanksgiving gathering. Thanksgiving shoppers will face ups and downs in prices this year, starting with the meal centerpiece, the turkey. After a few years of price fluctuations, Wells Fargo says fresh turkey prices are largely unchanged this year compared to last, with name brand turkey seeing a 2% decline in price from 2023. <laughs> Michael Swanson, chief agricultural economist for Wells Fargo, says conditions have improved for turkey farmers as the impact of avian flu has eased. They got through it mostly, but the good news is feed prices are way down. We've had a couple of really good harvests on corn and soybean meal in, in this country, so they can actually feed the birds for less. Stuffing, however, may be a more expensive sell, with name brands up 9% and store brands up 3%, with Wells Fargo citing trailing labor and transportation costs. It's one of those things where we're still seeing a little bit of inflation mixed in there. And cranberry saw a bigger crop this year, pushing supply up and name brand prices down. We see about 2% more cranberries produced this year in the United States, according to the USDA. That always helps. So we're seeing brand prices down 3%. Acknowledging consumers post-pandemic inflation fatigue, major retailers like Aldi, Sam's Club, and Target are all offering meal deals for gatherings of 4 to 10 people. A survey from Butterball found that 98% of consumers expect inflation to impact their holiday plans, up from 79% in 2023. Still, more than half of those surveyed didn't plan to make changes to save money. And if your family prefers pecan pie to pumpkin, you will likely pay more for that this year as well. That is because of Hurricane Helene, which affected at least 48,000 acres of pecan trees, according to the University of Georgia, part of an estimated $6.6 .6 billion impact on Georgia's agricultural industry. In Washington, I'm Karen Kefa.